Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. This is the November 25th edition of ServiceNow Store Highlights or SSH. I've been on hiatus. I missed two uh, weeks of this because when ServiceNow did their major store release in the early November, um, it interrupted my, my process and I didn't get my usual email with everything that's updated. And I use that email to go through and see what's new, what got updated, and then I put that into my system kind of manually. So what's happened is I've wrote a new app and I'm still validating it, confirming it with the emails that I've resumed getting now. And so this is a catch up episode. So basically I still have that first week of November. I have no idea what got updated, but I know a lot of stuff got updated by ServiceNow for ServiceNow. So I'm gonna figure that part out in the meantime there's been two more weeks of releases and I have that here and what I'm doing is I'm verifying that with what's going on in my new app that I built to crawl the ServiceNow store. So first of all, there were 62 of the uh, new applications or updated applications in the ServiceNow store and we'll run through these like I usually do. Let's just knock out the easy stuff first. Um, I'm going to start with the fails. These were the ones where the release notes were the same thing or they linked to a paywall where you can't see what actually changed unless you log into those vendors apps. So I'll just highlight them here. Access check integration, blameless, Fujitsu stanza, lease, which is actually a Nuvolo application but has a wonderful name called lease, Nuvolo platform service, Omada service catalog, portfolio management and service channel facilities management. All release notes fails. Nobody knows what got updated, what got changed, unless you go just do it and update it. So that was that. There were a couple of apps with fixes, grass for you one list approvals adapter, OnSolve IT alerts, Vivid Charts, and VMware vRealize automation ITSM application. That's made an appearance before on this particular uh, series. So next up is new releases. All right, so there were a bunch of new releases, about 16 of them. And we're going to step through these really quickly. Um, I don't want this to be an extended episode, but Cognizant Service Provider Network, um, basically integrating ServiceNow and the SPN from Cognizant to deliver a smarter, more streamlined platform for managing service requests and engaging service partners, customers, and corporate clients. So that was new. Cause Pro, a revolutionary environmental application for ServiceNow, driving your carbon net zero agenda. So they got some ESG stuff. Um, going in here. I actually, there's another ESG one from KPMG coming up here. DocuSign CLM spoke, another new release. So CLM, Contract Lifecycle Management. Um, they've done an integration with ServiceNow, so you may want to check that out if you're a DocuSign customer. Employee Travel Management, an app built on the San Diego Now platform to solve corporate travel and related expenses. So that's a new one there. Next up is going to be ESG from KPMG, which I just mentioned in ServiceNow. So this is about um, ESG initiatives on the ServiceNow platform uh, from the KPMG, which is one of the big ServiceNow partners. Next up, Event Organizer. This is coming from the Innovation Lab. I meant to check this as a video candidate and I forgot. That's probably going to be medium and complexity because I got to figure it out. But it is a, basically an event management application allowing you to manage in-person or virtual events, um, system invitations, RSVP and notifications. I wonder if this is ServiceNow kind of dog fooding, you know, what they do in their own event management. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, Innovation Labs just keeps pumping out new stuff, which is exciting. Everphone Asset Management, phone as a service, um, everything from smartphones and tablets. So new application there for requesting and managing Everphone devices. Flexforce Optimization, another new one. It's by Fujitsu. It's an add-on offering for ServiceNow's field service management that can dramatically optimize the performance of your field service. You be the judge. New application there for Flexforce. Genpact Lending as a Service. Automate and scale your loan processes with Lending as a Service. So that's a new application out in ServiceNow. I have one of my favorite Japanese applications that I had to go run through the translator. Um, H-U-L-F-T. Uh, I'm going to spell it because I don't think that really pronounces anything in English. Um, Square, provided by Saison Information System, is a data linkage platform that connects various operations. They have connectors to provide 
connections with different SaaS on-premises and apps enabling data linkage without coding. So it sounds like maybe like an integration hub or a spokish type of application, um, but definitely for our Japanese customers who are using ServiceNow. So that was fun to do those translations. That was a new app. Learn Assist is a new app for uh, ServiceNow, the capability to manage different learning platforms. So that's a new app that came out. And let's see what else we got left here. Net Impact DXOCM powered by Paradigm Shift with a bunch of copyright symbols. Um, so democratize change management with digital transformational, transformation organizational change management. Wow, boy, say that 10 times fast. So OCM in a box, if you're not familiar with organizational change management, that's really about managing change within an organization so that people accept the change and embrace and adopt the change. So that seems interesting, um, an interesting application that came out from Net Impact. Rapid7 Threat Command for ITSM. This is a new Rapid7 integration with ServiceNow. So if you're a Rapid7 customer, you may want to check that out. Up next is going to be Service Graph Connector for Extra Hop Reveal with an X in parentheses. So application map assets from your Extra Hop Reveal X deployment with ServiceNow CMDB tables, allowing users to work with assets from Extra Hop in CMDB tables. And then finally here is Service Graph Connector, actually not finally, Service Graph Connector for SAP Plant Maintenance. This is a new um, integration allowing uh, the Service Graph Connector to automate the import of manufacturing processes from SAP Plant Maintenance into the ServiceNow ISA equipment model, mapping process criticality and other information from SAP to ServiceNow. So if you're an SAP customer and you're wanting to do plant maintenance integration with ServiceNow, you should definitely check that out. And this is the last new app, Takem, Takem. T-A-K-A-M app, IT financial management or CSDM compliant cost model, a simple and pragmatic financial management solution aligned with CSDM that allows cost transparency, optimization, and cross-charging. All right, so interesting new applications. That's two weeks uh, worth of new applications there for you. Let's hop over to the highlights. I'm not going to jump into these like I normally would because there's 33 of them. We'll be here a while if I do that. But let's take a look. Absolute Connector, Admin by Request, Armist Security Incident, Beneva Software Bill of Materials, Beneva Software Optimization, Beyond Trust had two updates out there, BT Digital Services, Certify, Chronicle for Security Incident Response, Chronicle for Threat Intelligence, Cloudify, Connector for You, Frontline VM Security Ops, Microsoft 365 Support Integration. I'm going to click on this one, even though I said I wouldn't, because I marked this one as a video candidate. This is something interesting going on. It's an experimental integration of Microsoft solutions using virtual agent and simplified setup process by removing an inbound connection to the ServiceNow instance. I'm not really sure what this is, but I'm intrigued. I'm wondering if I could do something with my Microsoft 365 developer account. But resuming our updates here, Quality Clouds Rescue by LogMeIn, RoboMQ Connect, uh, SailPoint Identity Now for Service Catalog V2, Securonix app for security incident response. Let's go to the second page here. Service Graph Connector for Logic Monitor, Sprinkler, Tanium Configuration Compliance Integration, Tanium Integration Core, Tanium Vulnerability Response Integration, so they've been working hard. Technology Business Financial Manager, Threat Connectivity Activity Pack, Vivid Charge Data Engagement, Whistleblower, Wiz Integration for Security Operations, Workplace Access and Security, Yansa PDF Generator, and Zoho Assist Remote Support and Screen Sharing. Oh my goodness, folks, tons and tons of updates in the few weeks that you haven't seen this video. But that's pretty much it for this edition of SSH. Stay tuned for future updates with my new app that's crawling the ServiceNow store. I still owe you a week of ServiceNow updates. They updated a lot. I'm somehow going to figure that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in what's new in the ServiceNow store. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.